good afternoon my lovely people i hope you are all doing great today i want to show you how to update bios with the usb flash drive using the bios settings interface in my previous video i demonstrated how to update bios in windows i also gave some valuable suggestion not to update bios if your computer is working fine please note that there is difference in the process of flashing BIOS in Windows and flashing BIOS in DOS and the BIOS settings interface. In Windows BIOS update, the user is not required to use a USB flash drive. Unlike to update through the DOS and BIOS settings interface, a USB flash drive may be required. After this video, I will do another video on how to update BIOS in DOS. BIOS updating is very important when you are experiencing crashing or hanging issues or sometimes your computer automatically turns off at a stipulated time. Let's say your computer will stay on for like 10 minutes and suddenly turns off. This is a BIOS problem and updating your BIOS will just resolve it. Also, you can update BIOS if you have a higher CPU, RAM or other internal hardware and you want to upgrade to boost system performance. I will leave another video link in the description in case you wish to know more. For now, let's begin updating BIOS with the USB flash drive and this works for all models such as HP, Dell, Asa, Asus, Lenovo and many others. To begin, let's get the system information. This is Asus TUF Gaming Series X570 Plus and I'll take you through a step-by-step -step guide to update the motherboard BIOS. All that you need is a USB flash drive of at least 1GB and an internet connection. After getting that, our next step is to google with the computer's model number and press enter. After, select the right manufacturer's website with the model number. This is ASUS motherboard, so I'll click on this. Now you are welcome to the main page of the manufacturer's website. Now click on support. Then we proceed to driver and utility. Now choose the BIOS and firmware. Click show all to display all versions of the BIOS to its latest version. Now let's look at the fixes. The latest version improves system compatibility whilst the previous version fixes two problems. One, AM4 Ajisha which is the BIOS settings interface and it also solves random stuttering. Please note that it's highly recommended to download the latest version of any BIOS file because it carries all the previous version fixes to its latest version fixes. So I will download the latest version instead. After download is completed, open the file location which by default is downloads. Now, copy the file and paste it anywhere of your choice and extract the file with Wira. I will leave the link to download in the description below. Now, insert your USB flash drive. If you have any important files on the USB drive, then I will advise you back it up before you continue with this process because this will erase every data on your USB flash drive. Now, format it with FAT file. After, send the extracted folder to your USB flash drive. After this step, your USB flash drive should be ready to be used to update the BIOS. Now, insert the USB flash drive to the targeted computer. Turn the computer on. Press your manufacturer's BIOS key to enter the BIOS settings. For this particular model, it's either F2 or Delete. In the BIOS setup, click the advanced mode. Click on 2, then select Asus E2 Flash 3. Select your flash drive and click next. 
select your USB flash drive and click on the particular folder containing the BIOS file. Click on yes to begin the flashing process. Please note very carefully, during this flashing process, do not turn your computer off or touch or click anything that may interfere the flashing process because any interference can break your computer from starting or render it dead. After, click OK, then you are done. Now, one more last tip for BIOS updating that many people are not aware or might not tell you. I would strongly suggest you do not update BIOS if your computer is running smoothly. This is because BIOS flashing comes with some level of risk and sometimes can render your computer in dead state or no display condition. This problem may not actually come from you but rather is a flashing process which is not 100% guaranteed. When your computer gets into dead or no booting state, we computer component level technicians use an alternative way to recover your computer. We use an external BIOS programmer and some level of training in electronics engineering for this exercise. I will leave another BIOS update tutorial link in the description below if you want to know more. I hope this was helpful. If you find value from this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. Also share with anyone that might need it. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon for more video updates. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.